Okay, we're gonna Marty's Marty's beer show where it's really good sometimes. Uh, today I'm I'm having to go at a cocktail at Irish Car Bomb cocktail now. Um, so Irish Car Bomb or a um, Irish Step Charge or whatever whatnot. Anyways, it's a um, it's a drink, a beer based drink where uh, you bung a bit of your Guinness, which is Irish. You put a half pint of Guinness into a Guinness, pipe a pint of Guinness into a glass, and then you make a depth charge shot with Baileys and Jamison's, bung it in there, and then you drop it in, and being Irish, it's called Irish, all three ingredients, and carbom. So what happens when you drop it in there, uh, the ingredients due to the magical sh uh, like leprechaun, whatever, or something happens, and it starts to curdle, so you have to diffuse the bomb before it blows up, before it curdles, so you scull it down. Um, it's a, it's actually not even Irish, so it's, it's an American thing. First time I had it was uh, a bunch of, when I was, uh, I didn't actually go to college ever, but back in my college days, so go figure that. Anyways, um, that was how I learned about it. So, uh, let's fucking stop dilly-dallying. Uh, let's start it off. So, uh, Guinness. So, this is just your stock standard can of Guinness. Uh, the one with the widget inside. Um, it's just a, you know, it's a, it's, it's a Guinness. It's, um, trying to see if it's a real one. Um, yeah, made in Ireland. So, some of your Guinnesses are made by, um, um, under license and all that sort of shit. Um, this one's made, actually made in Ireland. So, that's kind of good. Now, uh, it's a pint glass, but apparently meant to go half a pint is the um, desired um, thing. And Guinness, you know when you get a Guinness, like you, they pour it, you know when you always get Guinnesses, because people do, they pour it and then you have to wait, like, you have to go put fucking more coins in your parking meter because uh, it takes that long to, to do that. And then they bring it out to you. But anyways, so that's your basic start. Your, your Guinness, half a pint. Uh, now we're gonna make a layered, um, a layered shot because I'm just gonna make it a bit more fancy. So Bailey's, uh, Bailey's, Irish cream, basically what it is. You know, you have it with, um, you, you can put it on ice cream. You can drink it on the rocks. Um, apparently, I've heard you can drink it um, from a shoe, um, but not the will. Um... <sighs> All right, we'll we'll drink it from a shoe, but. Um, apparently that's how you meant to do it, so it's a very creamy drink, so let's just, uh, what is it, so it's a 70% alcohol, so it's not too hardcore, but, and it's been in the fridge, but, jeez, this is, oh, fuck, um, well, let's see how this goes, eh, first, before we, um, ugh. That's pretty good, but I've got Bailey's in my shoe. Anyways, Bailey's from a shoe. So, ugh. So, we'll make it, we're gonna make a two, uh, a layered shot, uh, it's a Kahlua shot. Um, it's not, anyways. Uh, so, so you want a half a shot glass, half, a, half an ounce, half a shot glass of your Bailey's. So the Bailey's, you can just start off like that, about halfway there. Um, See so what you sh what I did. Um, pour the Guinness first. Give it time to settle. So there you go. Bailey's Irish cream. It's bloody. It's actually pretty good. Um, it's very versatile. You have it with milk on ice. Um, anyways, that's what we're here for. So the Jamisons uh, Irish whiskey. It's just whiskey. It's a very smooth. You can get a lot of pre-mixed. Um, you can get it in cans or bottles like pre-mixed. Pre-mixed uh, Jamisons dry and lime cola. I drink it with um, yeah dry and lime. I I don't have. No, I'm not going to make one up because uh, it's unnecessary. But yeah, I'll, I'll drink with soda water uh, on all, with soda water, lime, bit of ice, bit of lemon. Um, but yeah, just a um, pretty smooth. It's a, it's not a really hardcore, not a very smoky, not a very um. Yeah, it's a pretty easy, pretty smooth, forty percent um, whiskey. So um, and it's imported, so it's the real deal. So um, now I'm just going to try this. You don't have to, um, you can just dunk it in there, but we're just gonna try, see if I can layer this shot, just so it has like a bit of a, um, 
an aesthetic. It might not work. It doesn't. It has no. It doesn't fucking matter. And there we go. It didn't really work. So not really surprised by that. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it's it's just the um science. So what happens? You bung that in there. And it just starts to bloody curdle, and you got to drink it before it does it. So, um, without further ado, and geez, this, I think I did this. Um, it would have been about 15 years ago, and uh, with a bunch of American uh, college girls, and they thought it was funny. So, anyways, um, drop it in, bottoms up. Wish me luck at the uh, at the other end, eh? That was pretty good. That was actually, that was beautiful. That finished up tasting like, that just ended up tasting like ice cream. Um, so, you know, the curdling effect. Um, I remember years ago when I did it, uh, the bartender, whatever, and it all curdled and shit all over the bench and all that on the bar top. But that's, that's fucking good, it tastes smooth. Um, it's not very common, um, it's not a very common shot. Um, Anywhere, I've actually never really seen it apart from that one time I did it at a bar. But there you go, Irish car bomb. Bailey's, Jamison's, a bit of Guinness. Give it a go. Um, why not? Because it's always fun to just do cool shit and try new things. Fiddle dee dee. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I made a few other videos. Go check them out because they're fucking really cool and hours of entertainment for the family and friends and whatnot. So. <coughs> Remember to like and subscribe and all that shit, and thanks for watching Hardy's Beer Show. Beow!